can tell a little bit about the man just by where he chooses to live. First, it's in a house that looks like that. And it's in the middle of a swamp. A swamp that took us quite a while to get to. It's surrounded by monsters and water. The luxury with which this Vorador surrounded himself was impressive. His wealth would shame the haughty nobles of my former court. Vorador is the vampire that I would be. I'm going to say it again because I can't remember if I did and I'm paranoid. Vorador is the vampire that we all would be. He is luxurious and he is hedonistic. And just look at this fucking place. You would have this too if you could. I would. I guess I can't speak for everybody. That this vulgar display of fortune remained undisturbed was a testament of fear's dominion over... He is the opulent swarp swamp lord. Vordor is very interesting. And we're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna learn more once we get to him, but gotta get to him first. Who took away my fire sword? Flame sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> So yeah, here's the hurdle right here. Fortunately, like I was saying before, you can get here and not have the tools you need to get through. Fortunately, you can only get about this far in. Their charms were almost visible through the gauze of their clothing, yet beauty such as theirs delivered only death. For these were Vorador's pets, nothing more than beasts, slave to his will and the easy prey he provided. Vampires, all of them, held in thrall by one stronger still. Cam Clark, the opulent swamp, swamp lord. Cam Clark would be a good voice for Vorador. It's not. It's a fellow named Paul Lukather. But Cam Clark would work very well. Yeah, so you can't get any further without the control mind spell, because you need to hit this switch. Though at least they don't let you get real lost. But... They also kind of don't really tell you very much where to go, other than just the general sense of explore. Oh, or do you mean Kane? Kane, Templeton, and Cam Clark have a bit of a similar sound. I can, I can see that. Run the gauntlet. Look down. There we go. Interesting. Oh, there's a door on the left. Okay. There are secrets in Vorador's uh, mansion that I'm keeping an eye out for, and one of them I almost walked past, but fortunately it's just right here. There it is. start using some flay just because I've already got 99 of them and I've been passing up so many. There's number 32. Uh, we're a little bit out of order at this point, but it's fine. All will be uh, made in the wash. And then you can go through this door over here. The darkness was soothing, and in the distance, sharp and sweet, came the scent of spilt blood. Number 33. Uh... Moving on.
Now there's lots of human enemies. <clears throat> Even though Kane calls them vampires, um, they're they're kind of later retconned into being. I don't have blood gout anymore. They're kind of retconned out of existence because Vorador is uh, said to be the last vampire. And also, you can drink them like humans, so. Blood gout. Free blood. Lots of free blood. You can use the blood gout to drink multiple times so you get even more blood than you would. Uh, let's see. You flip that switch there. Ah. And a secret door opens over here. So Blood Gout combined with Fire Sword is really good, I would say. Although we are going to need some mana. Fortunately, we have a hundred of these. I think we'll be okay. just run past you. That's fine. Good. Let's see. Uh, 35 is going to be on... Ah, up here. It said look for a checkerboard floor. in the mansion and uh hunting hunting some secrets and working our way through wolves yeah you also missed this but this was the weapon i was referring to the very cool weapon i lied it's very hot when their secret number 35 is getting into this room Okay. I'm glad you're back, though, because uh, you haven't missed Vorador. Help me, 
kind sir. Good. Oh, please help me, kind sir. Oh, please. Borodor's pantry, a vampire's feast. Like cattle awaiting slaughter, men and women dangled from the rusted hooks upon the dungeon walls. Free body. Blood and viscera frosted the dirt and stone. The abundance nearly overwhelmed me. For blood is the life. So Vordor has a very clear opinion of where he stands in the food chain. And it is above you. It's him. He is the food chain. He is the entirety of the fucking chain. <laughs> and some new armor. My enemies are quite vicious, and the Chaos Armor extracts from them a heavy price for their bloodlust. The blows are meant for me, but it is their bodies that carry the wounds. Why, yes, I think I will. Chaos armor. Also, I have an angry mouth on my tummy. Oh, that's like the iconic armor, right? Um, for this yeah. game, this is the the uh, the best armor in this game, if you ask me. There's one more you can get that is useful. Um, but going forward in the series, Kane actually is uh, not armored from from uh, a certain point on. Good thing those don't kill instantly because I need them. Oh no. Uh, I think I can reset him. Because it's. Yeah. You can reset him because without him you can't advance. Bringing him up here, though. Leads to this secret room. I like that little... Uh, shepherding of like if you get hit once you're dead and the fact that that guy is so very difficult to avoid makes you have to run through this little gamut don't mind me time splayed body of myself and yep that's number 36 and there oh no you said 36 uh, yes, there are, uh, I was, there's, I was wondering if that was the last secret in here, and it is not. There's a, th there's a few more, but they're not for a bit. I'm having to do some math because the, um, the comically overstuffed secrets room is, uh, we could have gone there if it were a full moon, or if I wanted to wait for a full moon, which I don't. So next time, it's going to start on a full moon, and we can do that then, but until then, the walkthrough I'm going on is numbered, and so I'm going to have to uh, take that into account every time I try to determine what number secret we're supposed to be on. Man, implode is good. Man, flame sword is... What's that? That's the one that makes everyone explode? Yep. <laughs> Man, drink spell is good. Yeah, the first couple levels of this game can be a little difficult, and then you just get a million clever ways to make everything dead. And soon we're going to get um the best one. Remember earlier I said that the blood drink spell has an upgraded form? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Whoops. Sorry, mess. I threw the wrong kind of spell at you. Allow me to remedy this. Don't get hit. 
uh, you can die having served your purpose. Actually, there's only one of them, so... That just split... Uh, I wonder... Oh, now I can... I don't need to teleport or take control. I can just jump with my wolf lens. This is going to be an interesting... I have uh, little choice here. Okay, that could have been done more gracefully. Aha, here it is. Oh, to bathe in the blood of others. This spell is especially useful in the face of multiple combatants. Beware those with tainted blood. It's called Blood Shower, and it does this. <laughs> You drink everything in the room instantly. Yes. Now the downside is you drink everything in the room. And as we have discussed, there are different kinds of blood, some not so good. But it is very difficult to imagine a scenario where that much red does not counteract anything unpleasant you happen to soak up in the process. It's a very good spell. That is my S tier spell for this game. The room Seems I had okay. entered had but one purpose. The I torture guess. and execution of human beings for the sadistic pleasure of its engineer. Blood was splattered on every surface, coating the spikes that jutted from the walls and filming the stone floor. The dread and agony of victims past still echoed through the lethal walls. A symphony of terror and agony filled the air. Then, from amidst the cacophony of screaming souls came the perverse laughter of the vampire himself. We're getting close. Go, fix that. <laughs> and upon the wall, scribbled in blood, were the words, Manus Seller Die. Just just to show off that I know Latin. I don't know Latin. Cain, Cain knows Latin. <coughs> <laughs> All right. So this one, we need to push the third panel from the right. Just to oh, know that what? that, yeah, no, the switch. The, I am not ashamed for using a walkthrough because the secrets are fucking obtuse. <clears throat> Amongst Vorador's possessions, I found an ancient chronicle. Long ago, vampires grew in such number so as to capture the attention of the circle. The Order of the Saraphan, or the Angels of Light, as they were called, was instated to counter the menace. Thus, the Vampire <laughs> Purge began. Just solidifies a little bit about the Purge. Not, not great. Not great if you're a vampire. Control mind. Blood gout. Blood gout. Wait, no, that's the one I want. Oh, to bay. <clears throat> so you can also fight as the uh, the possessed. Like, you can throw knives. It is typically uh, better to just run because you are so fragile. One fuck up and you got to start all over. So I prefer typically to not fight when possible. The tapestries wove a tale of chaos ignited. An orgy of fire and pain. 
Undead beings with rotted skins caked with sulfur and ash beckoned at me through a burning abyss. Their tortured stares were a testimonial to the price of weakness. Their fate would not find me. Yet blood calls to blood. I'm not sure what killed that wolf there, but I'm okay with it. Um, we're also starting to see a little bit about... Vorlor collects a lot of artifacts about the Vampire Purge. Starting to see maybe a motivation for why he did what he did. Oh, because I'm wearing the chaos armor, that's why. Um, north wall, there's a switch in there. There's secret 38. right of the Vista marker in uh, the next room. Come again. Let's see. Blue orb in the Vista marker. Now to the right of the Vista marker on the north wall, you'll find a hidden space. <laughs> switch? I must have? Uh. Uh. Didn't switch to the left of the doorway. Let me do some math really quick. According to the guide, we are on number 69. That means there are 31 unaccounted for. 30, if you count the, um, the one that I know I've missed and have to go back for. And 28 in that one area that we skipped over, which means these two haven't triggered and I'm not sure why. Oh, I think I see why. I'm in the wrong spot. It wants me to be here. I think. Or does it? Well, either way, free stuff.
gonna try one more time. Oh, there's that one. Okay. And there's that one. Okay. I guess that explains that. I want these, but I don't... Oh, maybe. Oh, I did this puzzle wrong. Nope. Well, whatever the reasoning. Yes, okay. There's 40. All right. I'm not crazy. Mm. Okay. Are we ready for the moment? Are we ready to meet the man himself? Oh, are we here? Here we be. In the bowels of that black forest, I found something worse than hell. A vision of what I was becoming. It's not often I see one of our own, especially one as young and foolish as yourself. Nonetheless, drink. Drink deep and indulge your gift. Gift? <laughs> Vorador thought my curse a blessing. We were gods, but mortals offered their blood as sacrifice so that we could enjoy our supernatural powers. And somewhere, deep inside my new self, I knew that he was right. That mortal dreams were prayers. Prayers to us, begging us for power. I pondered this as the decadent old fool prattled on about his past. I feel like they skipped a lot of exposition that a, another game would have included. A boorish account of how Who cares? Malek of the Seraphim. It's not important. Get to the part where everybody's bleeding. Of nine ...for supporting the Seraphim Holy War to exterminate Malek, Malek, Malek. It's also worth noting that without giving too much away, it looks like there's something in this scene that is special. It's not. It's just a kind of sloppy reuse of some art assets. Don't don't worry about it. It's something the dev team actually like was asked about quite a bit and uh, kind of had to hang their head. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, sh I'm not talking. Shut up. Don't worry about it. It's fine. your dogs they can feast on your corpses and even though they're basically showing us the opening cinematic again uh that line makes it worth it to me and that shot of vordor drinking blood except here is where it stopped now we can actually watch these two fight It was impressive for 96, okay? Look, he's got all sorts of cool runes etched into his breastplate. I wonder I what those do. <laughs> After slaughtering six of the sheep, I defeated their pathetic little since then, our kind has not bothered with the cattle, except to feed. And I suggest you do the same. Meddling with the affairs of man can do us no good. Seraphan witch hunts are much too tedious to concern ourselves with. Am I understood, Cain? Good. Take this ring. If you ever need assistance, it will summon. Despite your youthful arrogance, you will mute the game. It is such a pity to lose you to this. Now 
be gone. The the dialogue mixing in that scene was not great. I assure you that is that is the source. That is nothing I am doing. Um. Hey, you're doing okay, I guess, as a vampire. I guess you just keep go doing being a vampire over in that direction, away from me now. Goodbye. I got I got wine blood to drink, and I got servants to kill. My resolve, his power uncontested by mortals, he had fallen to another enemy. Decadence has claimed itself many a great warrior. I've got my entire fucking house to guild, apparently. I love Vordor. Vordor's great. Fuck you, Yeah, Kane. no, he's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so now we have this ring that can pull, uh, that can call, call Vordor to us in case we need his help. Um, so yeah, worth noting, Vordor said he killed six of the nine. Um, Mortanius, the, uh, the necromancer, the god of death, he was seen, um, cursing Malak and <clears throat> taking his body away. So Mortanius was one survivor. Malik, the guardian of conflict, obviously was the second survivor, and then there was a third who we will meet. But uh, the other six were killed, and as we mentioned uh, last time, when a guardian dies, the pillar selects a replacement guardian from birth. There's no real rhyme or reason to the process that the game cares to go into. It just picks someone who is destined to be the replacement. So all six of them got replaced, and then Ariel, who was one of those replacements, was killed in a separate incident. I clarify that a bunch because sometimes when people talk about the story of this game, they think both of those things happened at the same time and that Vordor killed Ariel. That's not what happened. Um, just to make that solidified. Also, we can walk through this wall. And kill these nerds. Look, look, look. This spell is so good. This spell is so good. I love it so much. The drink spell? The drink everybody in the room spell. It is my favorite. It is so good. There's another hidden room over here. We are just going to throw on a shield. Oh, shit. Ice. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Got the items. Got the secret. Don't need the items. Got the secret. It's fine. It was water, not ice. I figured it out. Okay. Uh, okay. 42 secrets. Which means 28 brings me to 70, plus the one I missed brings me to 71. That's where the guide says we are. All is good. Now I wonder, I have to wonder, because the next section is going to take quite a bit of time and it's a bit late in the day. Oh, Kane stopped being a whelp. Uh, sorry, Shrike, I, uh, I'm bouncing between a couple of different windows. Oh, and uh, well, Cain became a went from whelp to gimp, but now we are the princess. Yes, Princess Cain. Um, you your prestige increases as you gain secrets. Um. Oh, so I definitely didn't get past whelp. 
you might have gotten a gimp. There's a few that you have to. There's a there's a handful you have to get as you go along, but I don't know how. I don't know what those um, thresholds are that get you from one title to the next. And mm-hmm. every time I see the title increasing like that, it just makes me think of Toe Jam and Earl anyway. So Kane is a funk lord. That game is interesting. I haven't played it in a long time. I picked up one of those Sega Genesis collections and I played around a bunch with it one night. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I hadn't played it since I was a kid. It holds up. I immediately went to the hot tub, like you do. I am also hoping it's a full moon, because if it's a full moon, we can go and uh, go to the Lost City. If not, I might be ending it uh, a little early, because like I said, it's a bit late in the day to start a whole new uh, major questing dungeon area. That's fine. Seems like it takes time to traverse it. Also, Vordor's kind of a dick. He doesn't, like, show you the way out. He just is, disappears, and you have to backtrack through the dungeon. Joy. Unless there's a... It, th- th- there might be a shortcut that I just missed, but... If, even if so, I think this is more appropriate of, of just the way Vordor treats Kane. It's like, no, you know the way. You broke in. It's actually not that long a dungeon, all said and told. It's just very twisty-turny the whole way, so it feels a lot longer. enough out of all of you. Also, these zombies that would get up and regenerate on you, if you have the flame sword, it burns them up and they can't do that. Hmm. Totally unrelated, but uh, you busy Sunday night? Um, Sunday night, not that I know of. Uh, would you want to do arcade pit again? Sure. So soon? Yeah. All right. Uh, nobody signed up for it yet. Yeah, okay. I know Smite likes to spread it around, so if, like, somebody comes up that, you know, hasn't been on as recently, I'll happily step aside. But until then, sure. Yeah. Uh, well, it's because uh, somebody I know is playing, Ryudo, who I knew in Denver as one of the Colorado FGC people, the fight game people. Oh, okay. Uh, and he's real cool, and he's playing with Dr. Dubs, who is uh, ends up doing a lot of stream art for like Ty Tuesday and stuff. Oh, nice! And, uh, they've got a very good uh, uh, style, I guess. So he'd be screwed on drawing games. But I mean, I'm always screwed yeah. on drawing games. What That's else just is how new, we do. Yeah. right? I am. I am not. Yeah, Ryudo and Dr. Dubs would be a pretty good team to play against, and they could break our winning streak. Your winning streak. Well, technically, my my streak of one. Now it is your winning streak <laughs> that you have to help me uphold. My streak of a singular win. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll sign us up. And, sure. Uh, if um, have anybody else? They'll probably just put us on. There. Has Smite, to your knowledge, fixed the uh, the flash issue? Um, I think he's done something. Yes, I think he has actually. Because the solution we used last time worked, not the best, but you know. No, he's got a new solution now. Okay. Hope you are working once again. Oh, good. Yeah, because I was definitely working on like a five to ten second delay that whole game. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and we still got through it, though. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was doable. It was just annoying. And annoying is definitely better than impossible, so I will take that. Okay, so we want to go back to where we got the mist spell. And just kill some time, basically, is uh, where we're at. Remember earlier I was walking across this ocean here? That's where yeah. we're going. See how cocky I've gotten as a vampire? Now I just kind of walk through everybody. They're not a threat. I don't care. I become the, the indulgent, gluttonous thing that I cursed Vordor for being mere moments ago. Um, so much symbolism right now. I mean, that is like the core of his character, is it not? Uh, I will Kane. hold. Yes, I will. I will hold comment on that until later games in the series, because okay, you sure. didn't necessarily get to certain things about Kane that I find very, very interesting. Okay. So this teleporter, this takes us to the lost city. Lost city is full of items. When I misspoke, uh, in an uh, the last uh, last time I misspoke saying that you get a shitload of items from the um, the spirit forges if you find the back doors. I was thinking about this. This entire area is full of items um, in secret locked off rooms. But the problem you see. You can probably only get to one room at a time. Well, once you get through the door, you can get to all of them. The problem is getting through the door. Oh, full moon. Yep. Sorry, that took me a while. And it is nine o'clock. Once that sundial ticks over, we'll know if we're going to do this now or if we're going to pick up with this on Thursday. <laughs> Let's see, One folks. One in 36 chance or 33, whatever it is. I'm not so good with statistics. Well, what is it? Every, Every... 26 to 30 something days. Oh, so I'm pretty sure. oh no. Look at that that bad well it's uh what do they call that a waxing gibbous sure tomorrow yeah, waning gibbous i think waning is on the way out this is on the way in oh yeah okay tomorrow will be a full moon <laughs> well you fucked it well can i kill 15 can i find something to do for 15 minutes let's see i missed a secret Let's go secret hunting for 15 minutes. Fuck it. <laughs> it's my stream. I can do what I want. Um. So what the fuck did I miss? I missed one of them. And it was... I was caught up today. So let's just double check. Did that one. Did that one, and I'm sure this is riveting, listening to me confirm a list that I can see and you can't. Okay, we're just gonna go through we're just gonna go through that list one at a time because I've got 15 minutes to kill and who cares? Um The Lost City is like a, a pretty rare thing that nobody ever really sees because first off, you've gotta walk off this edge of the map, and who the fuck would think to do that of their own accord? Um, it also doesn't, it's one of the few things that doesn't really tie into the lore or the story in any way, um, except in one particular way I can't really talk about without spoiling right now, but even that's only a fan theory. It's 
never really acknowledged by the game itself or, you know, by the creators. Oh, and here's a fun fact. I mentioned it last time, but dog, I don't know if you would know this. Um, so there was going to be a sixth game in this series at one point, right? Yeah. They had they had a team lined up, and they even cut a trailer and started production on it, and it was so bad that they pulled the plug on it. Do you know who was the project lead on this? Have you ever heard of this before? Is it David Cage? No. Somehow it's a worse answer than David Cage. Dennis Piac. No, Dennis Diak was part of the team that actually made the games, and that apparently, like, defrauded them and stole all their money. Oh, weird. I think Scruff, I think, was the one who told me that when we did Eternal Darkness. <laughs> I didn't know about that until oh. very recently. Uh, nope, nope. Got any others you want to throw in the pot? No, I don't. I'm out. Sam Barlow. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> of all oh. fucking people. <laughs> And we mentioned Silent Hill Shattered Memories earlier. It all comes oh, full yeah. circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is such a fucking Sam Barlow game. Holy shit. I didn't even know who Sam Barlow was when I played that game, to be fair. I didn't know who he was until we played Her Story. And then I looked yeah. him up. And Her Story was... It was fine. It was fine. It was all right. I wasn't I wasn't crazy about it, but I found it like kind of compelling in its format. It was it was short enough as to be not terribly offensive. Right. <laughs> it certainly didn't overstay its welcome. No, and, we got through it in like a few hours. And you can play reversi. <laughs> So starting from the blood fountain, we're just going to go by the numbers. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come, drink. We want to go due south and jump up the ledge. Um, I have not yet played Telling Lies, though a friend of mine tells me it's, you know, it's it's... Say about, you know, what you'd expect. Ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. What else did he do? There was something else he did. It was, like, really irritating. I can't remember, honestly. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I can't. I got nothing. Shattered Memories. Shattered Memories... Uh, her story and um, telling lies are all that's coming to mind. Okay, so this is the energy bank spirit forge. We've been here. We've given our blood. Give some more blood, because why the fuck not? We've got so much blood. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. Wasn't that? Shed your blood for me. Because we and are looking for. Will be yours. Yeah. Twenty-eight. So once that we're looking to get that, tick that over to forty-three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that one. Then we've got. Go up to the Antitoxin Spirit Forge, which I'm pretty sure is the same story, but just for the sake of thoroughness, we're going to do it. Uh, yeah, it came up last time because um, there was a... Uh, that project got scrapped and it got kind of hastily uh, converted into an arena shooter where you were like vampires versus Seraphan. 
and it was um, not the best. I'm not really the best one to judge arena shooters, but. not that which means it's got to be something we missed in the mind control dungeon because that's the only other uh it's the only other thing on this list wait so you don't know what secret you're going for you're just going for every secret it might be well i missed one and i know i was caught up at the beginning of this session and i know i um i noticed i was missing it at the beginning of vorador's mansion so i'm just getting i'm just good double checking everything in between those two points I see. Um, and except for the lost city, uh, because that's a big old thing, and I know we didn't go there. And so the only the only secrets that I have that it could be are the two I just checked, and then the mind control dungeon. So let's go to the mind control dungeon. I've got I've got no time to go to the mind control dungeon. It's almost a full moon. Never mind. What am I saying? No. Oh. I would have missed the whole damn thing. Oh no, wait a minute. Unless that's gonna turn into 10 o'clock in the morning. Millennials can't read fucking analog clocks. This map is so picky. Is it daytime or nighttime? Tick over. I need to know. Okay. If it were nighttime, it would have gone by now. So it must be good. It must be turning into day. Is that good? Uh, it just means we gotta wait a little bit more for the full for the moon. So it's not bad. At worst, it's uninteresting. <laughs> That's the mind control dungeon. Okay, so.
take the guys on the west, make them go to the room behind them and get the green orb and then flip the switch. Make them walk back outside, go up the stairs, get the rune triangle. It's 27. We got that rune triangle. Confirmed. Okay. I wonder. No, I can't be it. That'd be dumb. It's not right. That'd be dumb. Okay. Now head north. Uh, da, 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 da. Go to the guy at the bottom and make him get the orange orb and flip the switch. Now the guy in the east and make him get the heart of darkness. Pretty sure we did this, but just for the sake of the oh. guy in the northeast, hit the switch, go through the door in the northmost wall. There's that guy, there's that switch, there's that door. Walk through the door, fire an energy bolt. You see, this is the kind of thing that, like, completionism and trophy hunting does. You gotta go over, like, areas with this kind of fine-tooth comb when you miss something that's in there. I guess no one's making me do this, but it's still annoying. Um, walk through the post at the top of the screen here to switch. Okay. Guys on the left, make them walk up the hall. And these are the back doors into the two spirit forges. Right side, up the path, flip the switch, teleporter in the main part of the room. Did it, did it. Did it.
Oh, well, that's funny. Even the humans die in the water because you're controlling them. Huh. Well, I don't know what that could be then. Let's see. Well, I'll have to look for that one on my own because that's everything I can think of that I care to do at the moment and it's nearly time. Sanctuary out. We gotta get back outside. Throw this on for good measure. for the full moon. Okay. So once this is done, this is going to be very fast and it's going to take us up to 70 secrets out of 100. We're going to get the bulk of them done right now. And then from here on out, we can do the more interesting things in the game. Dog, would you have ever done this on your own? No. Do you think I'm mad for doing it? Yes. There's the full moon. You can hear the, the little chunk sound tick over when um, the doors unlock and the wolf howling. The wolf howl will be present throughout the entire full moon just as a way of letting you know. So, step one. Probably gonna wanna be in Wolf just to go faster. Now we go south here. This is the Lost City. All of these buildings are full of items and have secrets. By the time we're done here, we're gonna probably have 99 of everything in the game. Huh. Yeah, they kind of... Like, the payoff for having to do this ridiculous nonsense is it sets you up pretty nice forever. Um, but da -da -da. So, I just want to go through this checklist so I don't get lost and uh, walk over... skip over it. Um, so, first thing you want to do is the building directly to the southeast, which is right here. We got 
two secrets for flipping these switches. That opens the door. how good I am as a wolf. Oh, yeah. Full moon. Wolves are... Maybe wolves aren't worth playing. It, it, maybe it is worth playing as the wolf on the full moon. Because it just seems to be a one-hit kill for most shit. Shit ton of items there. That opens up all the rest of the doors in the city and uh, has given us three secrets. Bam. Next, we want to go... <laughs> through an arch down here, and to the east is a building. <clears throat> <clears throat> East, hit the statue at the end. Uh, furthest northeast and northwest corners, and hit the switches there. Oh, there we are. I'm already full of play, so we don't really get those, but that's fine. And that should be three more. There they are. <laughs> Sanctuary. Leave the building and go directly north. Got to mind control this guy. Oh, well, ain't that something? Once it goes completely blank like that, there's enough time to... Yep. <laughs> and I do need to take him back down so I can go through the door that opened up. Hm. This area's actually got more, like, involvement to it that I thought it would have been. I was led to believe it was just like a giant like series of rooms full of stuff. 
This is the first time I'm ever seeing the Lost City, by the way. I've never gotten here before. And there's a bunch of switches. Each one of these is a secret. So one, two, three. Now oh, it's another light puzzle. Four, like in an Upraptor's Retreat. Five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you're not so tough. That's enough of that guard. What's that put us at? 57. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Yep, we're still on track. Building to the east. Control on the right. All right, I think I'm going to hop off for now. Uh, no worries. I will. Uh, I uh, sorry you jumped in for the completiony stuff. Next time there will be more uh, plot relevant things. If you want to come hang out, you are welcome. Sure, sure. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks for being here. I'll uh, talk to you later, and uh, we might, uh, Dog and I might be on Arcade Pit this uh, Sunday at uh, smite. Uh, switch.tv slash smite, S M I G H T. Yep. Hope right. to see you there. All right, have thanks. a good night, bud. All right, into the teleporter takes us to the roof. And that's why we're here. That's the that's the, the 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 good reason why we're here is all these hearts of darkness we're gonna get. So there is there is a reason having ninety nine revives and heals going forward is going to be quite a boon. Nine. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, the guide even says, you can have him get on the teleporter if you want, but every time I do, I get killed by an enemy as soon as I appear. So, okay, good. That is consistent. I'm not... Okay, there's a niche on both the left and right sides of the room for a secret each. And I imagine it's gonna open that door when I'm done. Call it a hunch. Uh, 
Oh, I goofed it. There's a switch by that teleporter. One second. Puts us at 62, leaving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. Okay. Uh, next building to the east. This one doesn't have any secrets in it, apparently. Oh, hey. What are these big boys? They hurt very the bad. Of darkness. Let's see how swinging a sword works on them. They're very strong. We're not supposed to meet you for a while, fellas. Oh, they're very strong. Oh, please. Help me, yeah, I, need, uh, I, need, I need the juice boxes. Um, we will be meeting more of them later. They never get much easier, though. They hit very hard, and they have quite a bit of health. I mean, they fight basically the same as everything else in this game does, but they can, they can catch you unawares, especially if there's multiples. Okay, we want to go into that. And it will. Secret teleporter. Go to the final building in the northeast corner. All right. The full moon is also past, but don't worry. We won't get kicked out or anything as long as we don't leave. Like, the second we leave the door, it shuts behind us. But as long as we stay in here, we're fine. Okay, so into the northwesternmost door. So many flay, we already have them. Now to the southwesternmost door. This. Maybe you went to right southeastern. Apparently you did. This is the real building that finishes off anything you need. energy banks we got energy banks we need putrescence we got putrescence and as you have probably guessed every room tops you off on a particular item and holds a switch for the next room. Although, might want to just take a little sip there. Got 
99 antidotes already, it's fine. There's the important one. The heart of darkness, the singular heart of darkness. My math, yep. Uh. And that's uh, 70 secrets right there, and we are still a princess. Still means the uh, the one we missed, but that's fine. I'll go back and find it later, uh, off the air, because I've made you uh, hang around for long enough as is. But first, how do we get out of here? And we end up back where we started, more or less, kind of, on the opposite side of the world. And that's the Lost City. 